Hey everybody, this is Jim. Welcome to My Photo App. My Photo App's unique set of capabilities is everything you need to build gorgeous apps across all your devices. The easy way. There is nothing else quite like it. No matter what business you are in, My Photo App allows you to build attractive mobile apps on your computer that will engage your clients and spread your brand through your client's social network. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to easily build your first app in a matter of minutes. You build apps on the Builder tab, so I'll click on it and open the Builder screen. Okay, the first thing we need to do is enter the name of the new app we are creating. My Photo App is incredibly powerful and suitable for building apps for all types of businesses. But in this example, I'm a portrait photographer and I'm going to create a personal app for one of my senior portrait clients, so I will give it the name of the person, Kelsey. Now click Create New App. Because this is our first app, a quick setup dialog is displayed. This lets me quickly set up the look of the app to match my brand. On this screen, I can add a logo, my contact information, and change the color scheme used in the app to match my brand. But for now, I'm going to skip this and cover it in the next video. We get a congratulation that we created our first app with information on how to get help finding our way around. You can close this to access the builder. Okay, so this is the builder screen. Everything that is needed to build apps is centralized on this screen. This makes it really easy to build apps quickly because everything is at your fingertips. At first sight, this screen can be a little intimidating with so much stuff on it. But don't worry, as you get more acquainted with My Photo App, it will all begin to make sense. Before we continue to build our first app, I want to give you a quick overview of the Builder screen. The Builder screen has four columns. The first one on the left is our list of apps. And obviously, we currently just have one app. But over time, we will add more apps and we can organize apps into folders. The second column deals with the layout of our app, which includes the look and feel of the app and which My Photo App features you want to include in your app. The features you want in your app is instantiated by the sections in your app. In the layout sections are a list of the sections for this app. It has a logo, a gallery, which currently has zero images in it, a contact buttons section, share buttons, and a copyright section. A gallery is a section type that will let you add several pictures to your app. The third column is the visual design, a preview of what your app will look like. You will notice that the visual design has a logo, a gallery, contact buttons, share buttons, and a copyright which matches the sections that are displayed in the layout sections area in the second column. Right now, since I didn't provide a different look on the quick setup, it has the default branding, the My Photo App logo and color scheme. And the last column has various miscellaneous functions, but the most important function is to let you publish the app once you have completed your design. There are three stages to building a working app. First, you create a new app, then you build and customize the app sections, and finally, you publish it. You can switch between building and publishing an app until you get it just the way you want it. Okay, time to continue building our first app. In the visual design, you will see there's an empty gallery. Let's add Kelsey's pictures to this app we are building for her. We can do so by either dragging and dropping the files out of Finder, Explorer, or Bridge, or we can click on the box to select the images. I'm going to click and select. As you can see by the progress indicator, the images are being uploaded to the builder. The image files must be JPEGs and can be of any size. My Photo App will resize the images for you automatically, but we recommend that if you can, Resize your images to 1024 pixels on the long side. This will speed the upload process and give you more control over the quality of the images. Once the images have been uploaded, they are displayed in the visual design. 
The first image is automatically selected as the app icon. This looks great. So now we are ready to go ahead and publish our app for the first time so we can see what it's going to look like. Just click on the publish app button and it will create a real working copy of the app. Click on the link and it will bring it up on your computer so you can play with the app. As you can see it looks like the visual design except that because it's being displayed on a computer it is wider and can accommodate more images across. My photo app is smart like that. It automatically adjusts the app to your devices. So there you go. We have built our first app. It's not finished yet, but in the next video, I will show you how to customize your app to match your brand and add some finishing touches. But before I leave, I have to show you the most important feature of my photo app. It is the handy help button in the top right hand corner. This thing is awesome and is getting better all the time. You have a place where you can search the knowledge base to get answers to your questions immediately. If you can't find what you're looking for or if you have a question, you can click on submit a support ticket and I'll get right back to you. And finally, it has our step-by-step how-to guides to help you learn even more about My Photo App. Here is a link to the first one, how to get started with My Photo App. This will walk you through building your first app in easy to follow illustrated steps. So until next time, have a good day.